How's it going, everybody? Moose here. It's, uh, July 23rd, 2019. I am presently out on the road because they canceled work today because we are out of power. Only power we have is 110 volts. Must have been a hell of a storm over by Dexter and Chelsea area. I am currently on my way to Indiana, presently in Ohio near Pioneer. I have two friends from work that I am presently riding with today. If you can see them in the mirror back there, we got a um, friend of mine at work is Wes, and he's on the Ultra Limited 2017. And we got Justin on the uh, Sportster 48, I believe. And we are clicking her along. We're just out for a ride, enjoying the day. First time I've ever ridden with these two gentlemen. It's been a fun day so far. We've only been gone for a few hours. We figured we'd hit Indiana and take the other way back into Michigan. Basically, we stopped off at Hudson Leather to get Justin a coat, and Wes got himself a helmet. I got myself a new neck wrap. On the way there was an interesting little set of circumstances. The way I usually take in, we could not take because we had a motorcycle accident, unfortunately, on 127. I had some video off my bike here. I'll throw in, try to catch it. It looked like he might have hit the, the rim of the semi. And the bike was just a total mess right in the middle of the road, as you can probably see right there. Just destroyed it. I'm assuming the wreck like that, that he didn't make it out alive. But uh, one can hope that maybe the wreck just looked bad and he made it. So... With any luck, he's okay. And doing well. It's a beautiful day, though. Couldn't ask for anything better. Wish I could have found out we didn't have work a little sooner in the day, but unfortunately, they kept that to themselves until around 1.30 in the afternoon, so I didn't get on the road till after 2.00. I had to call a whole bunch of the people who worked for me and let them know we weren't working. I usually leave at 2 o'clock, so, eh, you know, it is what it is. At least we're getting out for a little ride. I did stop by Harley-Davidson and talk to them about the service I have coming up on this thing soon. Uh, I don't usually take my bikes to Harley for the service, but I figure for the 25,000-mile service, I will probably take it in there and have them work on it and make sure I haven't missed anything, do a full change of the oil. They said they use AMS oil. Like I use, it'll cost me a little bit more because they're not going to let me use my own oil, of course. They're going to make me use theirs, I'm sure. Didn't even bother asking because I know how that place works. But that's okay. It'll probably be, you know, four fifty, five hundred dollars I haven't looked at and everything done on it. So I'll take the hit and then I'll go back doing my own services again. But it never hurts to have them do a check on it, you know, have an actual motorcycle mechanic go through it. 25,000 mile warrant, uh, 25,000 miles is a pretty good clip of mileage, so doesn't hurt to have them go through it. They'll know what loosens up and what doesn't. And they'll uh, get me back on the road really well, and that way they can check the tires and stuff. I want to make sure the bike's set to go for the UP trip that my Kaylee 7 and myself have planned for in September. I'm sure I'll have to do a another oil change before then just to uh, get it so I can do a full 5,000 miles with it. We'll see, though. Maybe when it gets closer to the trip, I'll stop riding this and just ride my uh, Road King around. But I also have a trip planned up in the UP by myself here in the next few weeks, so I'm sure I'll go over the 25,000 miles at that point. We'll see. Yeah, you can't hardly ask for better weather than what we have today. It is gorgeous out here. It's kind of weird going for a ride on a Tuesday. I'm used to being at work right now. So take advantage of it, get out, put some mileage on the bike. Presently, we've done 71 miles, nothing spectacular, but, you know, just out enjoying the road, not planning on putting a whole bunch of miles down. Probably be about a 150-mile day for me by the time I get done, I would imagine, 160. What the hell? Try to get home before dark hits. That's what we be doing. We just out riding, enjoying the day. Having a good old time on our way to Indiana, the border. Unfortunately, when we get to the border of Indiana, it's going to be uh, a little bit rougher roads than what Ohio has. That's okay. I'm used to rough roads. I live in Michigan. 
Yep, yep. Before the uh, video ends, I'll try to get them both on camera for a moment, somewhere along the line, and see what we get. For right now, this is Moose saying, keep it safe out there. I'll be talking at you. See ya. Bye.